spend the day with me as a postgrad who just moved back in with her parents. Today I really wanted to grab some coffee from an old cafe that I used to frequent and buy a bunch of things before coming back home to work on my resume to apply for jobs. The first thing I did after brushing my teeth was take my dog out for a walk. I got her when I started grad school and she's a pretty great emotional support buddy. Um, she's graduated with me and she has her own doctorate. She's a schnauzer terrier mix, I think. Next, I went to 85C Bakery. I used to go here all the time when I was an undergrad, but after I moved away for grad school, I really wasn't able to visit for a while. And it looks like they have a bunch of new stuff since I left. Of course, I had to get the mango pineapple bites. This sweet butter wreath looks like Ensemada from the Philippines, and that's definitely new. That looks interesting. So I got some bread and my favorite drink, which was the sea salt coffee. Next, I headed over to TJ Maxx to buy a couple things for me and my dog. lately and I need something for my hair because hydrating conditioner it comes in a box it's got bees on it so I'm really tempted to buy it and also these ones are kitties this one's our dogs it's really funny because we used to call these chuk chuk and now all the it's like all the rage these days. Oh, that's a witch one. I should have brought a basket. Um now we're gonna look at the skincare. Sometimes they have really good stuff here. The people just don't buy. Snail stuff is always good. Ooh, a rice toner. Rice lotion. Okay. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get a card. Okay. Now we have our basket. Now we can do this. I mostly need like an oil moisturizer so I can start um, doing gua sha. I'll just grab facial cream. There's a lot of retinol in all these things, which is great, but you have to wear sunscreen. Oh, what is this? Beauty of Jawson. Collagen. Toning. Cleanser. I have cleanser. These are also really good. Anything by Dr. Jart is good. Mm, brightening and firming. Vitamin C, though. I need a moisturizer. A lot of vitamin C. Just a lot of oil. Okay. It's a lot of acids. Yeah. How about this one? Look 
bottle. Going in like this. Mm. Always look in the back. Mm. And then look how cute this is. I don't need it, but I'm gonna get it because it's cute. It's a little witch thing. So really into this aesthetic. What? Oh my god. Oh okay, you like put it in the chair. It's funny. Alright. I'm at the pet area and these are for cats. But like I kinda wanna get one for my dog. Like a little fish. Okay. Dog stuff. Dog stuff. Dog stuff. She's not picky. So maybe I can just get her this one and she'll like it. She's a medium doggy. So that should be okay. Better like how much is this? So fancy. My dog sleeps better than some people. Ah! Okay, we're not gonna do that. It's too fancy for her. Reversible. How much is this one? I'm gonna go with this one. It has little cute dogs. I think though that if my dog could read, um, who knows what they're saying? Maybe they're saying like offensive wolves and those barks are like fuck yous and dog and we would never know. So we're not gonna get that one because that one's potentially offensive. When I got home, I started on working on my resume. I looked up some templates on resumes online, but then ended up kind of adding my own flavor to it. Then I talked to the career counselor on my school campus, and there's basically two big tips that I would give when you're writing a resume. The first tip that everyone will give you, of course, is to keep your resume nice and short. That means one to two pages and bullet points. Next, when you talk about your job experience, emphasize on why the experience is important. For example, if you're applying for a leadership position, you want to highlight that your last job experience was to be a leader in something. So you would say something like, to demonstrate leadership skills, I did X, Y, and Z in my previous job. And of course, you would have to like summarize that and keep it in small bullet points as well for in adherence to tip number one, which is to keep it short. I'm sure there are more um, tips for writing a resume, but those are kind of the main two that I would stick to. And then I had a little snack break where I tried the Japanese cream cheese jalapeno bread that I bought at 85C. Their cream cheese. I think that's a jalapeno, but this is like their Japanese cream cheese, right? Which I haven't tried before because they didn't have this when I was an undergrad. Mm. Oh, 
after beefing up my resume, I went onto my LinkedIn to actually look for jobs to apply for. And among a lot of them, there was one that I thought was really interesting, which is from this A Alpha Bio company. To apply to this company, they required a resume and a cover letter. I haven't really written a cover letter before, so I had to Google what actually went into a cover letter and then just read a bunch of stuff that I found online. So here is a summary of what I learned goes into a cover letter. The first, of course, is your name and your contact info. The next is the name of the company, the position title that you are applying for, the address of the company, and the date that you wrote this cover letter. Next, you want to address it to who you may con it may concern, or whatever the name of the recruiter is. Then you want to introduce yourself, say which position you're interested once again, and maybe a little bit of skills to kind of show them you know why this position is good for you. Next is the second paragraph, and then here you further go into the skills that you have. And for skills, I would go for like one word summaries of your skills, and you want to say how you're a perfect fit for the job. Then for the third paragraph, you tell them that you've basically attached your resume and that you hope to hear from them, then give your contact info once more. And of course, you have to write sincerely your best regards and then add your name once again. After I got my resume done and made my cover letter, I applied to the company and I finished my to-do list for the day. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!